Well guys, we have some big and exciting news for you today. Multicam for LumaFusion has officially launched. So who better to talk to than the big bosses here at LumaTouch? Terry and Chris, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, thanks. So how is NAB going? Tell me a little bit about your experience here so far. Well, it's been really exciting. We've you know, had a talk that we did and we've got to listen to your talk with, with Glenn Mulcahy, which is really exciting. Um, a lot of people are really excited about uh, our Multicam feature, which we're really excited to finally have available. And for people that don't know what Multicam is, you know, if you're new to the video production industry or you just never had a go at it, can you guys describe to me exactly what the feature is all about? Well, if you've shot with more than one camera in the same location, um, then Multicam synchronizes all that media together and then allows you to just uh, switch by just tapping on the clip on what you want to see. So it's fun. So it must have been a big build up in terms of the company to get to this stage. Can you tell us a bit about the development process? Yeah, you know, it actually started three years ago. We did a tech demo um, that was appeared on Apple's iPad Pro announcement. And it was a really cool tech demo of what, you know, Multicam we wanted Multicam to be. But as soon as we finished that tech demo and we're done, we realized we didn't have the, the feature we needed that would actually make it useful for user, you know, for our customers to be able to edit Multicam videos. So we went back to the drawing board and probably multiple times went and redesigned it because we wanted something that was different than Multicam that's out there these days. Multicam is sort of an almost old school now and we wanted to completely rethink it and Terry spent a lot of time designing that to make it something fun and, and interesting. And Terry, can you give us some examples of how producers might use Multicam? What, what kind of stories could be shot with Multicam Studio or edited with them? Well, certainly interviews like this one could be done um, where you have a camera on each individual, maybe wide cameras. Or the way we've built it, you can also do a music video where you have like the mixed desk or the desk um, mixed audio that you're going to have all the musicians synchronized to when they're playing when they're playing their songs, and then later you can synchronize all that together with the final mixed audio. So that's two ways. But I think some of the features that were really important to us were the ability to for interviews, map audio around to different cameras. So say you have a Zoom recorder, you can say, uh, say camera one doesn't have good audio, camera two does have good audio, and then you have a Zoom recorder, and you can map that Zoom recorder to the camera one, so that every time you cut to camera one, you get that audio. And you can set that up ahead of time in the synchronizer, so that when you're switching, you're really just focusing on your media and and saying, what do I want to see next? And you don't have to worry about the audio and stuff. And so it's a fun experience to actually switch it, as opposed to being real technically. It's so fun, yeah. It's uh, really, you're in the moment. It's like you're reliving the, the live event and you're just kind of, oh, I like that, I like this. It's really fun. And you guys have been demoing it here. What's the reaction been to it? Yeah, people seem really excited by it. Um, you know, it's something that some people didn't realize they needed, but they now know they do need. And even if you're, frankly, if you're doing one camera with a separate microphone and maybe yes. the audio is off, you can use that to synchronize. We also have a lot of users who do really creative videos with lots of effects. And so as we started working with it, we realized it'll have uses beyond multicam, where you can just layer multiple videos with different effects on them and then cut between those to create almost art pieces, you know, that are that are live switching art pieces, you know, as you do your post-production. It's really great. Creativity yeah. is endless. Like this. Yeah. Like, this. <laughs> like perfectly displayed behind Terry. Yeah. And so multicam isn't the only new feature out today. Can you guys explain to us what we have to look forward to today? Yeah, absolutely. Now, in, in the 4.0 update, that's a free update for any existing users, um, we're including a really cool new feature, which is a, which is a voice isolation audio filter. And this is an, a filter that Apple um, produced that we're including in the app, and it's used is machine learning to cut down background noise when you have voice. We also have a really great new UI for most of our filters so that you know you can basically see the graph of you know of your audio and more quickly be able to adjust your audio and do exactly what you want with it. And it makes a big difference in audio editing. Amazing and of course I'll be making demos on all of these things so we could explain it. Um, but for now thank you guys so much for explaining this to me. I'm now going to show you guys exactly how we put this multicam clip together. I'm going to talk you through it bit by bit and we're going to be speaking to Glenn about how he did it. So we set it up as a multicam studio with three cameras and the priorities basically were to isolate a camera on Caroline as the interviewer and a separate camera then on Chris and Terry as our guests. So that's called a single shot on Caroline and a two shot on the other camera. So this is Caroline's single shot. It's framed up on the 1X lens, so keep the quality up, no zoom. Over here, 
we have the reverse angle shot, the matching shot, which is basically giving me the two shot and Chris and Terry. And then I deliberately set up a third angle, a kind of an overview wide angle shot here, which is on the ultra wide and it's basically showing the entire background, including the cameras. I wouldn't traditionally do that to be fair, but the purpose of this demo is to show you the multicam setup. So I wanted to include those as well. There's just a couple of things to be mindful of when I'm doing the configuration. The first thing is, a small challenge in some ways is that we have three different devices. We have a 14, a 13, and an 11 on this shoot. And the color profile on all of them is a little bit different. So when I'm doing the white balance, I'm trying to match it in camera so that as much as possible when you bring that media together in the multicam edit, you don't have to try match them and color grade them too much in the edit. That's the first thing. The second thing is obviously is considerations of the audio. So the two shot with Chris and Terry was using the wireless mic go number two from Rode. So we had two individual microphones in Chris and Terry. And on the single shot from Caroline, we had the original shot um, wireless go from Rode, which is a single channel one. And that was just specifically for Caroline. And then the other thing just to be mindful of is make sure, even though it's not essential because LumaFusion can manage different frame rates and different actual compression. I've configured all of these to shoot in 4K, 8-bit for the sake of the demo, uh, demonstration. Like I said, I've matched the actual white balance in all of them as much as I possibly can. And I've tried to make sure that the profiles in all three cameras are the same as well. It just makes life that little bit easier in the editing process so there's less work to match the cameras. And that's it. So those are some things to think about there. Shooting a range of carefully framed shots, checking the color balance between the cameras, making sure you're confident with the microphone setup, and of course matching the resolution and frame rate between the cameras. Once you've shot your masterpiece, it's time to edit. For this, I simply airdropped the footage to my iPad and then put them in an album in my camera roll. I opened a new multicam container, opened the synchronizer, and dragged my three clips from the shoot from the media library into the drop zones. I simply tapped the synchronizer button and thanks to Glenn's clapping he made at the beginning of the shoot, I was able to automatically synchronize all the footage easily. I then found the start of the interview and split the clips to remove the unwanted footage. I also mapped the audio from my wide shot to my two shot with Chris and Terry. That way, whenever my wide shot played out, I would be able to hear beautiful, clear audio. Now in the switcher, it was simply a case of playing through the interview and choosing the clips I wanted on screen at the right time. This is the fun part where you feel like you've got a vision mixer in your pocket, ready for you to craft your footage as you like it. To get your hands on Multicam Studio, simply open up LumaFusion and tap the Add Clip icon. From here, select Multicam Container and purchase the feature for a flat fee of $19.99. Have fun!